Hello and welcome to 1 and 2. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your computer. Clean it up, repair any small issues, and we're going to start by using CCleaner. It's a free tool, and in my opinion, one of the best free tools. So let's load this up real quick. Let's slide it on over. Alright, this is what you're going to get as soon as you load it up. What you're going to do is you're just going to click Analyze, and then Run Cleaner. I normally just skip Analyze and just run the cleaner, but show you guys exactly what we're doing and then uh, you go down and here we have Windows error reporting this is unchecked by default personally I don't want them on there I'm gonna clean that as well as well as old Windows event logs and prefetch so we're just gonna run the cleaner click OK click yes Microsoft Edge is a pain in the ass Of course, I have Google open as well. And I totally just removed 375 megabytes. Not that much compared to others. I usually run a cleaner once a week. But not bad. And then from here, we're going to go down to Registry, Scan for Issues. And it'll ask you to create a backup. And I normally don't. I should, but I don't. And then fix Select Issues. Uh, do I want to create a backup? Normally you should say yes. I'm going to go ahead and say no on this one. Fix all selected issues. Two. And then close out of it. And then if you head down to tools, you can actually change your startup options. As you can tell, I removed a whole bunch of things I don't need. Um, but you just click on it, enable, disable. I usually go through and disable everything that I don't want on there. Like uh, any background downloaders. I usually leave on uh, NVIDIA, Realtek, which is the sounds, uh, Synaptic, which is your mouse keypad, and then scheduled tasks, you can remove those as well, context menu. As you can tell, I've min minimized a bunch of them on there. And then you can close out of this. That right there will increase your speeds, run a little bit nicer, but it's not 100% fix. So now we're going to go to Malwarebytes, also another free tool. And let me load that up real quick. We're going to slide that on over. Hit an update. Might as well. Normally that runs a little bit faster. I'm just going to pause this. Alright, so the update just finished. We're going to go ahead and click Scan Now. By default, it's going to scan C drive. And that's really where we want to start right now. This is going to take about 15, 30 minutes. So I'll show you the time elapsed once we're done. And I'm going to pause the video until it is completed. And there we go, we just finished. As you can tell, zero threats identified. But if there was one, we would click Quarantine All, and then watch it count down how many errors you have, and then hit Finish when you're done. And then, of course, brings it back to the main screen. Now, you guys are wondering where to download all of this. I usually run over to CNET and just type in CCleaner, which will bring you up usually the first one. And then same with Malwarebytes. And of course, same one. If you have a Mac, you can do the same exact thing. And uh, there you go. This is my first video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll continue uploading everything like this. All right, you guys take care.